good morning everyone it's about 5 30 in the morning and uh, I just had a few people ask me questions about our Everlast welders uh, we also have an Everlast Plaz uh, pretty good machines we had Miller's before uh, the Everlast I have over here this one right here is the 210 the 210 has been really good you can probably see it there uh, it replaced our Miller Dynasty the first day we got this machine uh, we had a pretty large aluminum project and in three days it welded 168 miles of seam right out of the box and it did flawless we had a contractor that purchased two Lincolns. I'm not sure what the models were. And we also had uh, another Miller on site. And halfway through the project, the two Lincolns died and they were brand new. They only had about 80 miles of seam on each one. And then our other Miller died at about 30 miles and it was a max maxi star I'm not sure what the model was it was a little 110 volt one uh, overall that was probably three years ago not not a problem with the machine at all uh, everybody's worried about consumables it's your standard standard torch nothing real special nothing real odd uh, connectors on it I don't know if I can get that out it's just your standards I'll turn it on and scroll through uh, the menus way better than the Miller there's no guessing from the dynasty uh, I'll show you here in a second okay so what we have is if you look I'm getting shit stuff right you can select it has a little chart you can see it move you can go through and adjust all your stuff Waveforms, 2T, 4T, AC, AC, DC. Uh, this one has a memory, so you can scroll through the memory presets, which is really nice. But everything's everything's right there. Uh, your stick, all that stuff, stick tig, all right there. We have a little label that tells us what our programs are because we have guys that start over every day. They can't remember what they were doing. But overall, a uh, great machine. The only qualms I have with the machine is the grounding clamps. Grounding clamps leave a little bit that they work, but they're just a little bit to be desired uh, you can see we use the bejesus out of this machine haven't had a problem not with that one uh, we have a plaz over here we have the ADS good machine uh, replaced our thermal dyne no problems consumables really easy to get uh, the only things that we really go through are the little standoffs, but it's your, just your typical, typical stuff.
does just as well as the thermal dyeing. So when we lost our dynasty uh, is when we made the switch and uh, we were able to get both those machines for the price of a new dynasty as well as some gear too. Uh, these units come with all the whips and the switches and grounding stuff. Morning Jeff. Good morning. Uh, they... This machine here is our little 185. I don't know if you can get a good good view of that. Basic. Uh, we leave this machine on 120 volt. Here's the back of it. I can get a little more in depth if you guys want me to. Uh, has no memory. So we have to make little labels for the guys that start over every day on where stuff is set at. The cables, whips, originals, again, your standards. This is a 17. Uh, auto senses so you can plug it into anything good machine uh, we had a major warranty claim on that one and they took care of it uh, everything on the inside basically got replaced and it, it was it was really smooth they went to Tennessee which I was surprised because they ship out of California and about three days it was back and that was it sent it in had to pay for the shipping there and the shipping back and it didn't cost us a penny there was our maxi star Miller was going to be like 1800 bucks to get fixed and I could buy two of those Everlast for that and uh, they perform they do good uh, can't complain uh, if you guys have any other questions let me know uh, we could do some welding if you wanted to see but a welder is a welder setups smooth uh, the 210 very very similar to the dynasty as far as the welding goes nice smooth arcs uh, no problems so they stand behind their stuff and they took care of us so anyways you guys take care stay safe and i'll talk to you later